Hello and thank you for joining me on Midnight Modeling. Uh, today I'll be continuing the work on the Oco Albatross scale model boat I'm currently working on. Um, but, but first please check out um, my previous videos. Um, I've documented all of the stages of making this boat thus far on my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you find it useful insight into making a scale model boat, uh, particularly if you're new to the hobby and want to find out ways of how to do things or intricacies of how not to go about them and potential hazards that you may come across uh, while I'm making. Um, anyway, subscribe, comment, check it all out, like my videos please. Um, I'm open to suggestions and tips so please share your thoughts, um, any sort of feedback um, I'm greatly appreciative for, uh, appreciative of. Um, so yeah. Um, this video um, is based around uh, steps 19 through to 22, if you're following the photo instructions. Um, one useful thing I find on the, um, the Oka, um website is that you can download the PDF doc uh, document of the instructions. Um, so I tend to have it out on, on my laptop screen uh, rather than using the paper one that uh, they give me. Um, for that. Um, uh, yeah, so um, around this stage, um, I'm returning to using my plank bender, uh, which you can see like the uh, the yellow soldering iron thing that's kind of next to me um, on the on the green map. Um, it previously helped me out when I was bending the bulwarks um, earlier on. Um, all the wood that I bend, um, I've soaked in boiling water. Uh, so I'll fill the kettle up, boil it. Um, because the plank plank's quite long, I don't really have a Tupperware really that does it. So um, I, I, I use the sink. Put, stick the plug in it, put the boiling water in there, sit the planks in there, leave it for, leave it for a bit. Uh, the hot water softens the fibres a bit better, um, I find, rather than using the cold. Um, it just makes the wood, um, just allows it to become a bit more workable. But really, on my first scale model boat, it was the Bounty Launch. Um, I didn't really wet the planks, um, I had pins and PVA glue um, and that, and I had, had, had a generally a hard time in making the boat and uh, bending the planks, really. Um, I snapped, snapped several of them and then tried to sand them uh, to hide that they were snapped um, and that. So um, it was from research um, really to find out a way that seems to work for me. Now there is there are several, several different ways uh, to, to go about it um, and it took a lot really um, to find a way that kind of worked for me um, and that. Um, but this plank bender I think is absolutely like say a godsend uh, for me uh, really. Um yeah, especially with the hot wet uh um planks, uh the iron uh that's uh, the plank bender basically bends them all. Um and that uh, really um when you when you rub it along, uh you it comes with like a little wooden uh you can sort of see it in the top right in the corner of the map uh, of the mat rather. Um it comes with kind of like a shape so, uh, with some arcs on, on there, you push the black plank into there. And then just gently work it across and it bends it. Just what I'm kind of what I'm doing now here, look. Uh just gently rub it along the plank and it slowly bends into place for you. Check it uh, and then line it up against where you're um going to be placing it. And then kind of continue the process really. And then little by little, um you kind of get there. So I'm just measuring it up now. Um yeah, and then just try it again and try it and try it. Um, and then eventually you kind of get uh, um, kind of get the shape that you're um, quite content with. Um, I do recommend buying one of these. One of these though, um, yeah, it really does make um, this is my go-to method. So it really does make it, um, bending the planks um, a lot easier. Uh, previously, I made a mistake uh, at the end of planking uh, the deck. You might see on the deck where the whole structure um, attaches to a different. Uh, attaches a different pattern. Um, you can't see it at the moment, obviously, because the uh, the boat's not on there. But uh, around around the outside, sort of where these uh, this sort of like rim rimming planks, I'm not sure what the technical name is, um, is going. Um, a bit of a change of a pattern um, around the deck. Um, yeah, I, I I cut some of the finishing planks off. Um, I didn't realise the, the mistake at the time, but what's done is done, kind of that. So I'm hoping the sort of the rimming that um will sort of hide. You can sort of see it here, uh, hide some of the damage that I've done there, um, and that. So we'll we'll see um, how how it goes on, um, yeah, how I get on with it at all really. Um, once I've done this, um, completed this process, I will start staining the uh, start staining uh, the wood. 
basically. Um, it's um, it's it's stain basically that I got with with the launch uh, the bounty launch uh, model. I didn't buy any other additional paints uh, uh, for the albatross um, thus far. Um, I um, yeah, it, it's just uh, the, the, I guess the paints are expensive and also out of stock at the time really. Um, but um, one of the good things about uh, the upper models is sort of wink the paints and uh, that you get you do get a lot for it and do find that you get quite good. A good value for your money, uh, and that worked with them, um, and that's I'm still using um some of the uh, the paints that I used for the Lao to launch, and that's our stain um a couple of drops in it um and and, and paint these, and I'm going to invest in not that I would I don't think I'd use it for this, but I'm investing in the airbrush soon, so I'm going to sort of have a play around with that and sort of see if that helps some uh, some of the models um that I make, right um. I'm kind of running out of things to say and the big subscribe button has popped up on the boat so I'll say I'll check out a talking for now and I'll leave you sort of with the rest of the video um, and that um, anyway thank you so much uh, for checking out the video um, if you notice uh, any more mistakes or have any tips um, I think this is about me about uh, sanding it down and about to go on to my painting here uh, but if you do uh, have any um, tips, suggestions, uh, pointers, or any any anything, um, and that please pop pop them into comment uh, comments. Um, I'm all for the engagement um, on on the video um, and that. Um, I'm, I think I found a good way as well using GoPro camera to sort of to film better videos now as well. So now it's it has like a stabilization thing as well. So it has them standing here previously. The camera would be rocking around all over the place. But now, um, not standing and the video remains still. So I think that using the GoPro camera um, over the top of me seems to be the way forward. Um, and that as well. I've bought a new light now as well. So um, hopefully the lighting shouldn't be an issue either um, going forward. Anyway, I digress. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, um, any anything. I really appreciate the support uh, and that. Um, I'm, new, like, I'm still new to YouTubing um, and that. So um, any feedback is always pretty cool. Right, until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you, bye.